Fat is the mildly narcotic leaf that grows in the cool mountains all over Yemen. Each afternoon, everything comes to a halt. Even the wars sometimes stop, while men gather together to chew their cut. The average Yemeni spends over half his meager earnings on these leaves, sometimes called the poor man's paradise. Once I accepted the invitation of, from a nobleman friend, Sultan Fadl bin Ali bin Ahmed, for an afternoon of cut chewing in his penthouse parlor. Lighted by dazzling colored windows, these rooms are often found in Yemen houses. And they're specially designed for a cool, pleasant afternoon. The hobble bobble pipe, of course, is an important part of the ceremony. The trick, I discovered, is to chew the cot leaves but swallow only the juices. This is much easier, it sounds much easier than it actually is. These experts, of course, can show us how to do it. I, f I had to try it too, of course, and I found the leaves, though slightly bitter, were not too unpalatable. Yemen water pipes are seldom equal in size and splendor. This one stood nearly six feet tall and seven yards of hose connected the pipe to its master, helped cooling the strong smoke. It had a very stimulating sort of reaction in me, like perhaps drinking several cups of black coffee one after another. And like the Sultan here, I began to perspire freely, even though it was not hot in the room. Things began to look a little more cheerful to me, and the room seemed to be flooding itself in, in mysterious, warm, glowing colors. Maybe this was why. These windows found in all Yemen houses, and no two are alike, are ever alike, are beautiful. I wondered if it was the cot that was give, making this effect or maybe just the late afternoon sun playing on the window panes.